In today's video, I'm going to show you hands down the best SEO audit tool on ChatGPT. With this, you know, you can search your website, a competitor's website. You know, you can use it for a lot of different use cases. We're not going to really go into that today. But today I'm going to show you SEO audit API. This thing is a beast. Let me tell you, because all these other GPTs on here, all they do is give you like general information or SEO information, or they say they do an audit about your website, et cetera, but it's super generic, super general. With this one, SEO Audit API, it uses API endpoints to actually do all different types of functions that can go ahead and look into your website with real-time data. So without any further introduction, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And then I'm going to show you a demo on all these other jokesters out there that have these SEO audit tools and show you exactly why and why hands down, this tool is the best tool out there. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start off the conversation by saying something like, hey, what functions? Oops, that doesn't matter. We'd say, hey, what functions do you have, right? And it's just going to go into the introduction and talk a little bit about itself. So, you know, we have SEO Web Scraper Wizard, Web Shield Scanner, SSL Certificate Verify, Robots Checker, Sitemap Directory, Full SEO Analysis. So... We're just going to do a random website and we're going to input the website right into here. And this is free. So you guys need to go check this out while it is free with other, you know, SEO tools and everything like that out there that audit your website. You know, they're upwards from 50 bucks a month or more, 150 bucks a month. It just really depends. So this is free and it works better than really anything I've ever used. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go pull off like a random website. Let's go to Google. And then I'm just going to search like local landscaping companies, right? Okay. I'm just going to click a link because we're just going to find a random website. And then I'm going to do this on my website as well. Um, hold on. What we'll do, we'll just go right up here. I need dirt cheap landscaping. Let's see if they got a website. I'm sure they do. They do not. So, okay, let's find a different one. Landscaping. There we go. Okay, so here's someone's website. We're just going to copy the link. Let's do... Let's do number six. I'm just going to say number six. That's a full SEO analysis. And then I'm going to put it in the website. What it's going to do here, it's going to go ahead and process this. And now it's going to give you a full SEO audit. General information, total word count, 470 words. I mean, this goes on and on. Like, is it built with WordPress? You know, Shopify, no. Facebook Pixel's active. Okay, links. There's 48 links on their website, 11 external. Title tag gives you all this stuff, word count. Their headers, H2, H3. Total images, it gives you every single image. The meta tags, all of the meta tags. Anchor tags, 59. And that, that's just one function. So, you know, you can really dig into this and go further into this, but I'm just going to show you a general understanding of how this really works. So let's just do, let's just make sure they have their SSL certificate verified. Okay. So, okay. Do number three. Oh, it's asking for the URL again. Actually, let's just do this. Same URL. Yep, and it knows. You know, ChatGPT is very, very smart. But when you integrate stuff like this, it works really good. So actually, we found out that they have an SSL certificate error. So that's something they need to figure out. You know what I mean? That's just a super general, you know, understanding of this and how powerful this really is. So let's just do, okay, now do it for number five. And that would be sitemap detector it's asking for the url again it should have remembered so a sitemap for bosslandscaping.com has been detected here's the urls listed in the sitemap there's all their different urls for their sitemap and then what you do if you click them it should take you right to say their thank you page, you know, landscaping maintenance page. Okay. 
Um, and then it'll give you recommendations and stuff like that. So let's do another example. And then I'm going to show you these other tools and show you how they're such a joke because this works so good. Okay, run number two. We're just going to run through a bunch of these. So this, this one's going over like their security of their site. Just keep it pretty simple. Their security store is actually a 70 out of 100. And then it'll go into recommendations on, you know, fixing, you know, security issues with their sites. I mean, you guys need to understand tools like this that exist out there cost upwards of hundreds of dollars a month. So when you're able to do this just on a, on a custom GPT, this is going to change the industry of everything. You know what I mean? So think about this. No more having to go and pay a website to do this stuff anymore. You can come and get this information a lot quicker, a lot more accurately with other places. And I'm not just trying to like, you know, up this GPT at all, but I am being completely honest with you and transparent here where I'm saying this works that good. So what we're going to do, let's see what other functions we can do that we didn't do. Um, okay, now do number four. And then you'll see it'll work just this quick too. And it'll come back with this information as well. You get a lot, you know, you get a lot of information um, from doing these searches. And you can go on and, and talk more about the search. You know, it doesn't have to just end once it gives you the information. You know, if you have any questions about it, you can just ask. And then you can use it a different way. So say you have your own website and you're trying to audit your own website, right? You want to make your headers better, whatever. So what we could do is say here, I'll do one of my websites, which is offflow.ai. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to say offflow.ai, give me the H1 header or something like that. Let's see if that works. Yes. Offflow. It told me to provide the URL again for some reason, but I think it just does that just so we can capture it. Fetching the H H1 header of offflow.ai. Okay, so here is the H1 header of our website. This is on the very beginning of the website. Ever, effortlessly monetize your custom GPTs, blah, 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 right? So you go to offflow.ai. You'll see that it pulled that H1 header right from here. You see? So now we can further the conversation and say something like, what do you think about that? Should I change it to make it better? or something like that, you can just start using it like regular, you know, chat GPT. No other audit tools out there are going to talk back and forth with you and tell you exactly what to do. They're going to give you the information. You're going to have to figure it out. So with this, it's giving me different suggestions, you know, example revisions. This is nuts. You guys need to understand how nuts this is. So, okay, enough of this. I'm going to show you these other SEO audit tools that are on GPTs. In the custom GPTs, we'll just do SEO audit. We'll just search SEO audit, right? Okay, so we'll see this one has like a thousand uses. SEO master tools, SEO audit tool. Okay, let's just try this one, SEO audit tool. Let's see how good it is or see if it's just junk, like, you know, every other one is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, do an audit on my website. Dot com. You can already tell this is going to suck because what happened is it only searched the internet. So as you can see here, it did like, okay, so it did on-page SEO. Ensure each page has a unique meta title and description. This helps search engines understand. It is giving me general information. Use H1 headings. Okay, let's just ask. Okay, let's just ask. Give me the H1 heading. Let's just see if we could at least do this. It should be able to do this. Okay, so it did that. But the way this works, okay, do a site map search. Of course, it's going to be able to get the H1 just because it's searching the internet. Yeah, see, like, look at this. 
it appears that there's no readily available sitemap for the website Authflow. So that's pretty much junk. It did give me some pages. Yeah, it just gave me the primary pages is all. So yeah, you definitely don't want to use this one. So yeah, check out SEO audit API. Just make this video short and show you exactly how this works. You know, this one actually uses real-time data. The other ones, they only go and like search the web, which gives you results, but it doesn't give you the, really the results that you're looking for. You know, it can't do stuff like word counts, anything like that. Can't show all the external links, internal links and all stuff like that. So definitely try this out. This is free. You can use it completely free. If anyone has any questions, let me know. So make sure you go on the GPT store and search SEO audit API, and then just look for this logo and you can find it. Have a good one, everyone.